One of the most magical things you can do in Photoshop is to combine multiple objects to make what's called a composite. To follow along, open this image from the practice files, which is a photo of a sculptor's hand. To add in another photo of the sculptor's art, go up to the File menu and choose Place Embedded. Select this image and click Place. Then go up to the Options bar and click the check mark. In the Layers panel, that's created a new layer that contains just the photo of the sculptor's artwork, which is a pencil on a wood background. What we need to do is cut out or isolate the pencil from the wood. You might be tempted to do that by trying to erase the wood, but that method has a couple of downsides. To give it a try, go over to the Tools panel and select the Eraser tool. Then move into the image and click. And you get this message. Just click OK to dismiss that for now. And then go back to the image and drag to erase part of the wood. The downside of this is that if you were to save and close this image now and then reopen it, all of the pixels you're erasing would be permanently deleted. So if you're in a hurry, you may want to use the eraser tool. But let me show you a more flexible, editable method, a layer mask. To create a layer mask, go over to the Layers panel and make sure that the object layer is selected. Then go down to the bottom of the Layers panel and click this icon that looks like a rectangle with a circle inside it. That adds this layer mask to the object layer. At first a layer mask is white like this, and where a layer mask is white, it shows everything on the layer to which it's attached, everything on the object layer. But let's see what happens if we add black paint to this layer mask. First, double check that the layer mask, not the image thumbnail, is selected, that it has this border around it. Then go over to the Tools panel and select the Brush tool. Go down to the bottom of the Tools panel and make sure you have black as your foreground color. If you don't, press D on your keyboard. D is for default colors, and that sets the default colors of black as the foreground color and white as the background color. Move into the image, press the right or left bracket keys to size your brush tip, and paint. The black paint on the layer mask hides the image on the object layer. If you paint too far and you paint over the pencil, go back to the Tools panel and click the bent arrow above the color boxes, and that switches to white as the foreground color. And then go back to the image and paint with white to show what's on the object layer, to reveal the pencil again. Here's a little rhyme to help you remember that. When you add paint to a layer mask, black conceals and white reveals. Now go back to the Tools panel and switch to black paint again. And continue to paint on the layer mask hiding the wood, switching to white paint if you make any mistakes and paint over the pencil. To speed this up, I'll just show you how the image will look when you're done hiding the wood. Now don't worry about getting that edge perfect. It actually would take a lot of time to do it with a mouse or a trackpad particularly. The point is to understand how layer masks work. And in the next video, I'll show you another way to do this to get a sharper edge that involves selecting an object and filling it with black rather than painting with black and white. So now let's finish this up by positioning and resizing the pencil. We'll go to the Edit menu and choose Free Transform. Hold down the Shift key, hover over one of the corners, and then click, hold, and drag in to make the pencil smaller. Then move outside of a corner, and when your cursor changes to a curved, double-pointed arrow, click and drag to rotate the pencil. Then move inside the boundary and drag to position it wherever you want it in the image. And then go up to the Options bar and click the check mark. Now when you save this image, be sure to use the Save As command and save your working file in the Photoshop, the PSD, format so that you retain the layers and this layer mask. Because you did use a layer mask to just hide the wood on the object layer rather than permanently erase it with the eraser tool, the object layer remains intact and you could come back any time and fine-tune the layer mask with black or white paint or even delete the layer mask by dragging it to the trash icon down here at the bottom of the layers panel. And that editing flexibility is the real beauty of layer masking.